Our desire is to quench that insatiable thirst that we have in our soul. And the way that we do that is meeting God where his thirst meets ours. His insatiable thirst for us meets his. And, and we said that yesterday we do that. We do that by sitting in loving attentiveness to our Lord. But what's the method that allows us then to sit in loving attentiveness? What helps us to do that? And I mentioned several different methods that we might do. Let's go deeper into maybe the best method, the method that the church describes, the method that Benedict XVI, Pope Emeritus, told us that would bring about the new springtime in the church. By that he meant it would set hearts on fire. We would have a new zeal for, for, for the Lord, for our relationship with him, for prayer, for our own apostolates, for going out and living our faith. How would we do that? He said that that method is called Lexio Divina. Lexio Divina is basically, as he said, it's the method by which we better contemplate the face of God. God who has come in the person of Jesus Christ. So now we contemplate the face of Jesus. We join him in the stories that were, that were brought about that the Holy Spirit inspired through, through the gospel writers. And so we go there. A book that I would, I would suggest then that you bring to your prayer time is the scriptures, is the New Testament especially, where we can contemplate the face of Jesus. Here's the method. The method is simple. It's the four R's. Read, reflect, respond, and rest. If you can remember those four things, you can pull out any scripture and you can have a method by which to read them. Sometimes we read the scriptures aimlessly and we say, I don't know how to read this. I don't know where to go. I don't know what I'm supposed to get out of it. Let's try this method. Read. So I'm going to read a passage of scripture. When I do that, I might read it twice. And as I'm reading, I'm thinking about what is the Holy Spirit trying to inspire in me as I read this? Is it a certain word? Is it a certain phrase? Is it a question that, that arises in my heart? Like, why did Jesus do that? Or why did someone respond to him in that way? Why even did they write down this story? I'm asking all those questions. I'm trying to figure out what the Holy Spirit is inspiring my heart so that I can reflect then. So that's the next step. After I read it, I reflect. And the way that I reflect, one of the ways that I might do it is I might just tell the story in my own words now, close my eyes, I stop reading. I just say, now what really happened? I reflect on that story. What was going on? What was going on in that person's heart as they spoke to Jesus? What was going on in Jesus' heart as he spoke to that person, as their thirsts are meeting one another and before my very eyes? I'm reflecting on, on what happened there. I'm reflecting on the words that were inspired in me. Why, why did that word, Lord, why did you inspire that word in my heart? Why did that phrase stick out to me? Why did this a question arise in my heart as, as I read the scripture? And so I sit there in silence and in reflection. Right? So after I read, I reflect, and then I respond. Respond is basically then our conversation. It's me speaking to Jesus, just as I would speak about this in a Bible study, or I would speak to, to a good friend about, about something that, that, that I had been reflecting upon in my life, a good friend that I talked to things, you know, the deepest things of my life about. Maybe I just, I imagine Jesus right there. I imagine Jesus' face. I contemplate his face, and I speak to him about what I just read and what I reflected upon. And so it's our chance to then speak. Maybe we need to ask him a question. Maybe we need to tell him something. Maybe we need to make a resolution and promise him something in that moment. Lord, after I read this, this is what arose in my heart. And I want to respond to you that, yes, I will be faithful. Yes, I will follow you. Lord, I'm struggling with this or that thing that, that it describes here. And this is what it brought about in my heart when I read these scriptures. And finally, I rest. That's the final step. The final thing after you've spoken is to, is to actually be quiet. Be quiet and, and maybe in that, in that silent time, we invite the Lord now to speak to us. That's what we do in our rest. We ponder everything that we've, we've, just, we've just read, we've just reflected upon, we've just spoken to the Lord. We just simply sit in silence. And in that method, that method, all of that is just bringing us into conversation with the Lord. And that rest is, is just now back into loving presence, into loving attentiveness to the one who comes and thirsts for us. Y'all, I'm going to leave these methods in the description of this video below. I'm going to give you, again, the things that I just described so that you can have them on paper. You can take them to, to your prayer with you. And also, we're going to give you what Evangelical Catholic prepared for us, a 30-day scripture meditation. So you say, I don't know where to go in scriptures. Well, we're going to give you 30 different scriptures. That's basically one for every day of the month so that you have a guide of 30 scriptures that are go-to scriptures where you can speak to Jesus face-to-face. -face. 